Hey guys, it's Bex the Vortex here and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Here I'll be visualizing the scale of the solar system in Minecraft. Before I begin, I must give this disclaimer that the solar system and the primary celestial bodies in it are huge, and it was hard for me to accurately build them in Minecraft to show their true size and scale. I did my best to recreate the planets though, and I hope you'll enjoy it. To begin close to home, let's start with the Earth and the Moon. First I will cover their size and then the distance between them. The Earth has a diameter of about 12,756 kilometers, compared with the Moon's 3,475 kilometers. That would make the Earth about 3.67 times bigger than the Moon. With that in mind, I have built both of them here in Minecraft with the respective sizes and the ratio between them roughly to scale. In this scale, with each Minecraft block being about 1,160 kilometers wide, the Moon would be roughly 3 blocks wide and the Earth would be about 11 blocks wide. And as you can see, the moon looks quite huge compared to the Earth. In fact, it's the largest moon in the solar system relative to the size of its planet. But what about the distance? You'd probably be surprised to find out that the distance between the Earth and the moon is much bigger than most people believe it to be. Its semi-major axis, or average distance from Earth, is about 384,400 kilometers. Visualized in Minecraft, this time at the scale of one block corresponding to roughly 3,200 kilometers, the distance from the Earth and the moon would look like this. Pretty impressive, huh? In this scale, that's a distance of about 120 blocks. It's so big that you can fit 30 entire Earths in between this distance and still have some room left over. Now let's move on to the four inner rocky planets of the solar system, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. In the scale of comparing them, one Minecraft block would be a little more than 800 kilometers. Here we have Mercury with a diameter of about 6 blocks, Venus with a diameter of about 15 blocks, Earth with a diameter of about 16 blocks, and Mars with a diameter of approximately 8 blocks. For reference, I'm also going to include the dwarf planet Pluto, which in this scale would have a diameter of only about 3 blocks. Now, Earth may look quite huge compared to its rocky companions, but it's nothing compared to the huge, distant, and cold gas planets. In the scale of comparing Earth with the gas giant planets, one Minecraft block would be one Earth diameter, or two Earth radii, or as mentioned before, 12,756 kilometers. So, this small block of blue concrete powder would represent the Earth. First, let's look at the two ice giants of the solar system, Neptune and Uranus. Both are roughly the same size, and both are about four times bigger than the Earth. So, we have both of them here represented as four block-wide cubes compared with the Earth. Next, we have Saturn. Saturn is a little more than 9 times bigger than Earth, so we have Saturn, with very poorly made rings right here, as a giant 9 block wide cube. And finally, we have the largest planet in the solar system, Jupiter. Jupiter is more than 11 times bigger than the Earth, so here in Minecraft it would be roughly 11 blocks wide. But what about the biggest and most important celestial body of the solar system, the Sun? Well, it is the biggest by a huge margin. Here it is compared to the Earth and the four gas planets. It is over 109 times the size of the Earth. So the Sun visualized here is a 109 block wide cube of lava, completely dwarfing the gas planets and making Earth look like a speck of dust in comparison. Now for the distances between the Sun and the planets. Note that size in this collective diagram would be negligible. Here, a distance of 10 blocks would be one astronomical unit, or an AU. In case you didn't know, an AU is the average distance between the Sun and the Earth, or about 150 million kilometers. So the Sun would be here, and the Earth would be here. As for the Earth's three terrestrial companions, Mercury would be here, Venus would be here, and Mars would be here. Although the actual distances between them are millions of kilometers apart and sizes wildly not to scale, note how they're relatively closely clumped together. But as for the gas planets, they are far more distant than you'd probably expect. Jupiter orbits the Sun at an average distance of 5.2 AU, so it would be way out here, leaving a huge gap of about 3.7 AUs between itself and Mars. However, the gaps between the planets only get bigger from here. Saturn orbits the Sun at an average distance of about 9.5 AUs, leaving a gap of about 4.3 AUs between itself and Jupiter. Uranus orbits the Sun at an average distance of about 19.2 AUs, which is 9.7 AUs further from the Sun than Saturn is. And Neptune? It orbits way, way out here at an average distance of about 30.1 AUs. That is approximately 10.9 AUs further from the Sun than Uranus is. But what about Pluto, as we've seen before? 
Well, it orbits the sun at an average distance of about 39.5 AUs, placing it here. However, unlike the other planets, Pluto's orbit is much more eccentric and weirder than the other planets. At its perihelion of its 248 year long orbit, or closest distance from the sun, it orbits at a distance of 29.7 AUs, or about here, which is actually a bit closer to the sun than Neptune is. At its aphelion, or furthest distance from the sun, however, Pluto orbits at a distance of approximately 49.3 AUs, which is way out here. So to recap, here are the average distances of all the eight planets in the solar system, which also includes Pluto's, as well as its perihelion and its aphelion. I hope you all enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Please feel free to leave a like and subscribe. The solar system is unbelievably vast and I find it to be very interesting, and that's why I made this video. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a part two of this. For now though, have a great rest of your day. Peace.